Throughout this crisis, we're being reminded that our state of the city is measured in the strength of our people. It's found in our willingness to give ourselves to the common good, in quiet acts of generosity that define our Angelino spirit. So much has changed in the last few weeks, but some things are always going to be with us. Our grit, our determination, our courage, and our compassion. That is what makes LA so special and so strong. Good evening, Los Angeles. 46 days ago, our world changed. The lessons of history taught us that the cities that acted the slowest during pandemics suffered the most in the toll paid both in lives and livelihoods. All of us remember the 2008 recession. Until now, it was the biggest economic blow of our lifetime, and it hurt. But there's no way to sugarcoat this. This is bigger, and it will hurt more. From a fiscal perspective, this is the worst it's ever been. Our daily life is unrecognizable. We are bowed and we are worn down. We are grieving our dead. But we are not broken, nor will we ever be. That spirit we have felt each night at home and across our neighborhoods and across this city, that is the spirit that must move our economic recovery and our commitment to heal an unjust world. There is no plan, no purchase, no wall that will forever protect Los Angeles from a threat like this. But we can forever promise ourselves that the next threat we face, we will face stronger and more equal, with the chasm between rich and poor closed and covered. We can promise ourselves that we will leave behind the old normal in favor of a new justice. Our city is hurting. How could it not be? But our city is ready. Our hearts, Los Angeles, are stronger than ever, and we are the city of angels, and we will fly again.